Here is actual footage of what is left of the Grenville Public Library, with many of the books and amenities left to rotten. The building also reeks with an unpleasant smell, which has started to affect vendors adjacent to the building. Check it out, man that's going Saturday, them vagrant and that's going Saturday, peeing, messing, what is all kind of other time and thing taking place inside. Yeah, so I'm saying, plus them, you're shocked to see. If you stand up here a little while, you might see rats. Because they just come out inside in a big way. Ian Thomas is the person who posted the footage on Facebook. He says, even with the exposure, he is not aware of any efforts to address this environmental hazard. Some of the, 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 the business owners that reached out to me in the past, that's why I, I raised the issue. Because the stench is unbearable. It's uh, the, the rodents, the mosquitoes, it's almost deplorable. It's below the, beneath, I should say, deplorable. Yeah? Thirdly, <clears throat> it is in the heart of the business district, the town of Greenville. We have the Market Square. We have the Greenville Courthouse, which is supposed to be a national monument. These businesses and these, infra these um, facilities would allow for tourists to be attracted. You cannot tell somebody to come to your country, you bring them to your magistrate's quarter, to your marketplace, and 10 yards away from the marketplace, you have the situation here. Thomas has decided not to wait on government, but to take matters into his own hands. He will be soliciting the support of the surrounding businesses to assist in getting the building cleaned. Well, if you look at it, it's been like that for the past eight to nine years, so I don't think anybody with responsibility is going to take it up again because time has elapsed too many times, too many days and months and years has elapsed on this facility here. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to reach out to the business community coming from this week to see how we could get some form of assistance and some, some, some form of support to see how we could get this place cleaned up and rectified. I'm not a, a person to build over the building. I can't build the building, but we're going to try to get the inside of the building cleaned up. The Grenville Public Library was closed after it was partially damaged by the fire together with the post office in 2010. Neilon Franklin, GBN News.